Okay, uh, morning, everyone. Yeah, morning, morning. Come. I think we will start, huh? Okay. Uh, sorry for we missed out a lesson on Wednesday. Yeah, but never mind. We will catch up, huh? No worry. Okay, so uh, to begin, right? Sorry, uh, I can't shout very so far. Not shout, uh, I can't talk very loudly. Eh. I'm still recovering from my throat. Okay. So uh, to very quickly wrap up, I think today we will finish topic three. And then we can, yeah, because the other class finish already. Oh, Bernard's class, uh, I, I just bumped to him at the corridor. Say so he finished everything already. But of course he, he didn't do the tutorial, uh, I think very fast. Uh. But never mind, uh, that's the other class. Okay, but we are on schedule. Uh. If you look at the time timetable, uh, the lesson plan, we are still on schedule. Eh. Okay, so let's quickly recap. Today is the 16th of January. Uh. Today is Friday. Alright, TGIF. Uh. TGIF. Okay, let's quickly uh, yeah, summarize what we did. Uh. This topic also, you all need to uh, understand uh, basically. Uh. Okay, now there are tutorial questions. I hope you all have been diligently doing. Uh. The one is important. Uh. You all have to do. Uh, eh. Because later on, I will just have a look. Okay, it's not not really for that six percent. Of course, six percent is there, but it's for your own good. Eh? Okay. So in the last lesson, we talk about the logic status, right? High, low. Then we tell you about you have the the driver, right? Driver driving the the load, ah. Okay. So then we introduce to you the different voltage and the current parameters, right? Right. Then we have IOH. What's IOH, ah? What does OH stand for? Output high. Uh, output high, right? Then of course you have voltage when the output is logic high. Right? And likewise for the other two. Eh? Okay? Then uh okay, we also went to discuss about this thing called the uh, sourcing and sinking, right? If you try to recall uh, what we did. Right? Talk about current sourcing and uh, sinking. Okay? So when current sink source, uh, sorry, source, we will drive the current from the load to the, uh, the the source to the load. Okay, and then likewise when it's sinking, it. sinking means that there could be a backflow of current. Uh. Okay, this is just a quick summary, uh, summary revision. Then we talk about the fan out, right? Yeah, it's quite important, eh, guys. Yeah, fan out. Okay, what is fan out? The number of input you can drive. Yes, correct. Okay, in short, what your friend says is correct, huh? Uh, the number of inputs uh, that a load a specific gate can drive. Uh. Okay? So of course if you have the more gates you can drive the better, right? The fan out is good. Eh? Right. But of course in reality uh, you are limited to the number of gates you can drive. Eh? Okay? Now I think maybe just a quick uh, clarity, okay? Because sometimes you all get confused. Eh? So now, if you compare fan out between two different families, right? Two different gates families. Uh, let's say maybe the seven four LS family, and then another gate. Uh. So when you compare these two, they ask you which one is a better fan out. Uh. You always take the one with the highest, eh? because higher means you can drive more gates, right? between two families, two different gate families eh? you will take the one which is higher you know what I mean? okay but when you are calculating fan out for an individual family you will pick the lowest one but within different families you pick the highest correct okay but between itself uh, the own family itself the fan out high fan out low right you have to take the smallest one worst case worst case consideration okay so please uh, Make it clear off. Yep. Yes. Correct. Correct, okay? Yep. Okay. For example, this case you are asked to calculate the fan out for that family. Eh. So in your lecture, right? Eh. Come, come, peace, peace. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Thanks for your cooperation. Okay, so within the fan out low and the fan out high, right? If you remember this question is in your lecture notes. Uh. Do you know what page is this? Uh? Page 12, right? Page 12 of your lecture notes. Uh. Okay, when you were asked to calculate the fan out example. Uh. Okay, you, have, you calculated the fan out high, fan out low, right? So in this case, the fan out low was 80. 
Then the other one, the fan out high was 20, right? I think. Yeah. 20, right? Ah, correct. So which one do you take? You take the worst case one, which is the 20, right? Because that's within the family itself. Okay, you take the worst case. Okay, you take the lowest one, worst case, 20. Yeah. So, you know, you don't want to on, be on the risk, at risk. Eh. So, you be conservative. You take the small one, within the family, 20. Eh. Fine. Oh, you remember that. Huh? Because I know inside your notes, there's one question. They ask you to calculate, to, to compare different families, right? Different, different type of gates. Maybe a NAND gate, then an OR gate, or something else, inverter or something. Okay, for the case, you choose the higher one. Okay, so we move on. Uh. Okay, yeah, for this one. Okay, so... Yeah, then we talk about propagation delay, remember? TPD, uh, uh, the propagation time. Okay, the smaller, the better, of course. Eh. Then also in the lecture, very quickly, we talk about the average, right? The propagation delay, TPD average. This is the average delay between the transition from low to high and the amount of high to low. So basically, you take the average divided by two. Okay, so, so is given. Huh? TP will be given. If the question asked in exam, right? You will be given. There is no calculation for you. No calculation. Just take. Okay. Huh? TPD average. Take a look in your lecture notes. Uh. This one is on page 16. Uh. 16 of your notes. Eh. Oh. Okay, uh. okay, then we went on to talk about power, right? The power requirement. Remember, power, the smaller power consumption, the better the system, eh, right? So we talk about the the current con the power consumption. So if you refer to your page, uh, what is this page? Uh? Can somebody tell me? Yeah, correct. Page one, fifteen. Uh. Page fifteen, is it? This one, this one. Eighteen, I guess. Is it correct? Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, okay. So for this case, uh, if you look at your page eighteen, I'm gonna move this thing back a bit. Okay, so that you can capture the screen. Okay. So the average current, right, is also given. Right? If the question is being asked, they will give you those, uh, those figures. Okay, so usually we take the average power. Okay, average dissipation power right, of the IC itself. So it will be given. Right, the ED average. You need to, huh? This one, uh, it will be given. Uh. But power is voltage, not current. Uh, same, uh, I mean, just average. Uh, this one, uh, this one, uh, just average. You just take the average. This one, uh, this one you just take the division of two numbers uh, the high and the low state. Yeah, because the IC can be all at the low state. Uh, remember the output, right? Let's say if it's all NAND gate, uh, the output can be either two state, uh, high or low. Uh. So if it's the low state, you take the lowest current, then you have the highest state, high state current. Average of the two divided by two, you get the average. Okay, so the power is the average times the supply. Your voltage is constant, uh. Usually, you supply your IC five volts, right? Constant one. So, me, how much current it changes? Okay, so this is the power average, uh. Okay, or the average power, average dissipation power. Uh. Okay, so then we talk about the last lesson, uh, last Friday, right? Yeah, we talk about it SPP, yeah. Uh. SPP, speed power product. Eh? Remember, speed power product. This is in your lecture notes, uh, your notes itself. Okay, so again, uh, it's desirable to have very small SPP. Okay, the smaller the better. Just think about your handphone, right? If you want your power consumption to be as low as possible so that your battery can last the whole day. Okay, your standby time, right? For your phone can last a long time. Alright? Okay, so SPP is the time, time, average propagation delay times the power average. Okay, SPP. The smaller, the better. Just take note. Okay, so for example here, okay, you are given an example, it gives you the uh, TPD, uh, average time, 10 nanosecond. 
the power, average power, 5 milliwatts. So what is the units, uh, by the way? What is, the, what is SPP's unit? Joules. Power. What is power? Watts. 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 Yeah. Watts. Uh, <coughs> no, actually, sorry. Not, not SPP is actually the energy. Joules. Uh. Joules. Yeah, yeah. Joules. 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 So even do you use watts? Uh? It's the power. Uh. Power is watts. Then SPP? SPP is in the energy. Uh. SPP is okay. power. Uh. Yeah. Speed, power, product. Actually, it's actually the energy. Because energy is in joules. Uh. The units here is the energy, but it's just that it's speed times the power. Eh. So this one is in nanosecond, uh, for this case, nanosecond. This one is in milliwatts. Eh. So this one can be given in picojoules. Okay, so this one they say desirable to have shorter propagation delay, smaller DPD, better. Yes, the smaller the better. Same for the power, the smaller the better performance. Okay? So this one, take note. So for this we choose the smallest as 50 adjustment. Yes, smallest. Huh? Now please take note in exam, right? In exam, uh, please put in the units. Oh. We all minus mark on. Oh. Half a mark. If you all don't put units, eh. you all just, yeah. Please put units. Uh. Okay? Right, please remember, put units. Yep. Okay? Yep. Now this the next thing I'm going to explain. Uh, this one, Maybe students will find it difficult eh, in, the, in the beginning eh, but I'll explain to you as simply as I can eh. okay, The next thing uh, is on the next page eh. This one, this is called the noise margin Okay, now what is noise margin? Eh? Okay, if you look at your notes, uh, what is this page? Uh? What's this page? Uh, 20 20, uh? okay, page 20 of your lecture notes Okay now, generally speaking, right, because we live in a very noisy world, okay, there is noise everywhere, okay, be it uh, audio, sound noise, or be it electrical noise, it exists, it's real, huh? okay, electrical noise happens, eh? okay, now, if you remember uh, your logic, right, in the, in the TTL logic, huh? okay, now, obviously, we know that for TTL logic, right, what is the maximum we can go on? Uh? TTL, transistor, transistor logic, what is the maximum voltage that you can go? 5, right? Okay, now of course, the lowest logic 0 means, uh, logic 0 means uh, 0 volts, uh, you would assume, right? Right, we would think that this one is logic high, uh, or logic 1. Uh. Okay, so this one will be logic 0. <laughs> Okay, but in the actual fact, right, what happens is that there's always a range. There's always there must be a range of that. If it doesn't drop exactly to zero volts, then you say it's logic zero. There is a, always a range of voltage. Huh? You, you know what I mean? Huh? So let's say for example we say that oh maybe zero to say uh, 1.7 volt, eh? that's considered low. For example, huh? this is just an example, okay? Example. Okay, you have to look at the notes. Uh. For example, okay, this is my logic state. I call it logic zero. Okay, so maybe any time, any voltage between, say, maybe 3.5 to 5 volts, uh, this range. Uh, this is the voltage scale. Uh. If I were to explain it this way, this vertical axis here is the voltage scale. So you will start from logic voltage zero to vo all the way to voltage five uh, max. Right? This is the max. This is the minimum. Okay? So your voltage scale here. Remember very clearly this one voltage. So zero volt. Okay, can be you step all the way up to five. Okay? So this is the what we call say the logic one. Okay, but there is a certain voltage range. Uh. Voltage range. Okay, from here to here, then from here to here. Okay, so now what happens is that you have noise, electrical noise, spikes. Yeah, voltage spikes. Okay, like for example, when you have thunder and lightning, right? Be careful of your electrical appliances, especially like your laptop, those kind of thing. Eh. But Singapore quite rare, la. we all have a very good uh, earthing. Eh. Yeah, sometimes this electrical spike, I'm not sure you hear before that like, people's with those rich men's house or the TV is so big. Uh, or thunderstrike, uh, the TVs got glow. 
Serious? Yeah, serious. Because of the spikes that travels on the electrical power line. High voltage spike. Wow, then the TV burn. It make a lot of noise. Yeah, yeah, so it was on the news eh, some time ago. So for me, even at my house, I buy those search arrester. You can buy it from any shop like Challenger or you know, those kind of plug. You plug in and you protect your those voltage spikes that will be absorbed. Okay, it's called the search arrester. If you are interested in you can buy it and then search arrester. Not very expensive, but I think it's well worth the investment. Maybe you buy it for twenty five dollars, then you protect your stuff at home, which is good. Lah. Okay, but why I am saying this because in electrical circuits, ah, there will be noise. Eh. So what happens if I have the voltage of somewhere around here? Let's say what happens if it's three volt? Eh? For example, if I have a noise, ah, so you can see this picture here. Eh. There's noise spikes. Ah. Okay, let's say you have a three volt voltage. What does it mean eh, in your logic? What is a three volt mean? I don't know. What is three? Eh? Because it's the in this range called the unknown. Uh, I call it the unknown. <coughs> okay, unknown state. Okay, because you cannot determine, right? If you are exit within the certain range, uh, I don't know, know what is the what is the state, what is the logic? Eh? Is it high or low? I don't know. Right? So we have to clearly define. Okay. Yeah, this allowed or unknown uh, or indeterminate range. I will explain to you this one in a short moment. Eh. But it all means the same thing. It means I, we do not know. Uh, we do not know what is the state. Eh. Is it high or low? It means the chip itself uh, can react high or low. No? Because it's a noise. Uh, so we do not know. There's a probability there. We do not know. Okay? So you note, note it, noted that over here, if you see your slides, uh, there's this code, like spike, right? So it's the, what we call the excessive noise. Eh. Okay? Which you do not know what is the state. Eh. Okay, so uh, now of course, then we that lead me to explain the next thing uh, called noise humidity. Okay, it's the ability to tolerate noise. Uh. Okay, the, the circuit itself are to tolerate noise. So uh, it's a measure of this noise humidity. Uh. So we came up with this term called noise margin. Okay, noise margin means that how good your circuit is. Uh. Okay, it's a, a, a number. Quantity, quantitative number. Then we call noise margin. Okay, that's the key word. Eh? Okay, so now we then introduce to you uh, the next thing. Okay, if you look at the output of the gate, uh, let's say, uh, output of the gate. Okay, if any voltage greater than this VOH minimum uh, is considered as logic one. Eh? Okay, now what does it mean? Eh? If you look at my diagram over here, you also have your a figure in your table. Uh. Right, uh. Can you all take a look? Take a look at your that figure. Uh. Oh my this one must send to hospital already. Got some problem. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. This thing is not so good. Eh. Got something jam up there. Yeah, I just, Sarah can help me. Just take a bit. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Got some problem. Eh. Uh, the gear got some Okay, next. But I'm trying to make it beneficial for your uh, try to keep it recorded. Uh. Okay, so if you look at this picture here, this uh, on the whiteboard, uh, you will see that okay, now you we have to be able to justify uh, what do you mean by logic one? Okay, what do you mean by logic zero? Eh? Now over here, if you see this diagram is actually on page 33, uh, okay, page 33, take note. Okay, refer to that figure of yours. Okay, now what happened is this: eh? I, I have what I show you here is just the voltage level, voltage level over here, and then showing you the logic. Eh? Okay, now over here on the this side here is the output. Eh? Okay, imagine I have a gate. Eh? So if I were to kind of yeah, erase here. So it's on page thirty-three. Eh? To begin with, let's say you have a gate. Okay, I drive another uh, logic gate. Uh. Maybe this will be the driver. Okay, now this is the load. Okay, now this load one is referred in this diagram here. Okay, this driver one is referring to this part here. Eh. 
So if I were to drive it, right, so I have a driver in a low condition, uh, when I put them together, right, I want to know what is the noise that will affect this part here, this middle part. So that's the unknown, huh? That is the unknown. Yeah, there's some level of unknown, I'll explain to you. Eh. Okay, so you can see, uh, so this one refers to the driver, uh, this one is the load. Now what happened is this, now for the the output of the driver, right? This is the output, right? There's this thing called VOH minimum. What does it mean? VOH. The voltage when the output is at logic at high state, right? But this is the minimum because there is a range. Okay? So we know that the maximum here can go up to 5. But the VOH minimum, right? You have to derive from the favor of the chip. Okay. So if you hit the minimum, then the logic is one already. Yes, once, very good, that's a good point, okay? If you are at the, this is the minimum voltage, huh? if you are at the minimum already, like, you already consider classified as logic high. You see what I mean? Huh? So for example, if you look at your uh, page 33, huh? can you please look at page 33, right? Now if I imagine that this one is the, this one, huh? Okay, it's the 7 4 HC uh, C mod. Can you please look at your that table? Uh. Okay, so what is the VOH here? If this is my C mod, if this is the 7 4 HC, uh, C mod, right? Uh, can you tell me what is the VOH? Oh. This one. <laughs> yeah, 4.9, right? Correct, uh? you all agree, uh, 4.9, right? So this voltage here, 4.9. But very steep, oh, this one. It means the actually this, this picture is a bit exaggerated, lah. Uh, right, uh, it's a bit exaggerated, but for explanation, uh. So you see that four point nine uh, is the minimum. So four point nine to five, uh, not, not much tolerant, uh. Okay, this consider logic high. You see, I mean, here to here. This range is classified as logic one. Okay, then similarly. You have this thing called the VOL minimum. Uh, see, or VOL max, the maximum, right? Before it will be classified as you don't know what is the state. So from zero to this one, okay, is classified as logic zero. Okay. So then the higher the factor or lower the factor? This one. Uh, this one is it? No, you 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 can't. Um, how to say? Yeah, you can't say much because this one is manufacturer who manufacture this come with this pack. You can't you can't say. I want to change it. Yeah, I mean you only can be aware of such things. See, yeah, I mean this one very confusing. Yeah. You don't come and get very confused. Eh. Yeah, but slowly, yeah, do it, take it slowly. Eh. Okay, but the output low max, ah. Uh, the maximum we can go. Okay, so from zero to here, any point here is considered logic zero. Eh? Okay, now anytime you cross into this unknown state, uh, it's so called unknown uh, because I don't know what is it. Eh? It's the so called uh, undesirable range. Uh. You have an undesirable range. Okay? Can uh, understand? Part, the output side. Okay? This is just some definition. Uh, is this fix it. Take it that is a definition. Here to here, okay, and here to here. Here anything in between unknown. Okay, now likewise, if I were to now bring you over to the load side, uh, if I have another load here, now I also would have similar kind of things. Eh? Okay, where you have logic one, okay, between uh VIH, the minimum uh, here is considered logic one. Then anything between zero volt to V input lower. Uh, is considered logic zero. Okay, so and then of course anything here is unknown. So what is this noise margin? Eh? Yeah, so this noise margin uh, actually is a bit tricky. Uh. It's actually here. Okay, now it's actually this range. Eh? The difference between this and this, this region called the noise margin. So that means if I were to just talk on the line here, uh, okay, yeah, this one, this region, uh, okay, it's called the noise margin. So, so it's just from yeah. that one, the, one. Yes, correct, the output high, 
minimum uh, minus away this one eh, BIH minimum this part here this is the noise margin okay can you all see you, you, I think it will be kind of clear in your notes uh. you see your notes one is clearer I think mine is just a sketch eh. Okay, so ask you a question, huh? what do you mean by largest positive going noise spike? Huh? Huh? Largest positive going noise spike. What does it mean? Actually? Noise spike. Largest positive. Positive. Okay, so you must you must refer to just now the figure. This one. This one. When you say the noise spike, you are referring to here. Okay, you see this noise spike. Of course, you have this uh, minimum, right? Uh, max, right? BIL max. Okay, if you cross this, uh, this one is disregarded. The voltage uh, is unknown. Eh. Okay, so the noise is the, the two red ones added together. No, noise, noise margin, you have the noise margin high, noise margin low. Eh. Okay, BN, BNH. Uh. Now, I tell you what, you look at uh, work example 5. Eh. Can you all take a look on page 36? There's a good example there. On page 36, huh? Yeah, they actually got one example that shows you. Eh? But this is the definition, huh? This is the definition here. BNH equals to this minimum minus this. And uh, this is noise margin when high. Huh? This one is noise margin when it's low. So you will subtract these two. But I tell you what, eh, frankly speaking, right, for me, if for you uh, in the exam, right, first thing first, you must have this mental picture of this figure. Eh. This one is the most important. If you can kind of remember this, then everything you can just answer the question according to here. Eh. Is it possible that it will be reversed? Huh? Is it possible that it will be reversed? Reverse, reverse uh, uh, not possible, not, not so likely. You will usually in this form. Eh. Yeah, they will ask you to calculate the noise margin. Yes. Yeah. Yes, noise margin. Uh. We need to calculate what is the noise margin. Noise margin when uh, at high state, noise margin when at low. Okay, so these are the typical questions they will ask. Eh. So this is a good figure, lah, I think. I mean the key takeaway is this one. Eh? You can remember this. Ah. This one will be useful. Eh? Anything in between here is not acceptable. You look 25. Maybe you want to highlight it in your notes. Ah. This one, very important. Okay. This one, extremely important. Ah. This, this figure. Eh? Okay, so you can see there's always a range. Yeah, I think Mr. Bernard gives the melody. He put the notes. Huh? Give us notes today. Oh, you don't give your own. Uh, give it, you put it We just print the string. Oh, print it out. Uh, okay. okay, so just for info, uh, very important. Not quite bad. No good. Uh. See this thing now, cannot turn really. I think it's a new jam. Yeah, I think the mechanism jam. It's in for a 